you know, first I wanted just to, to show you how I typically have my boat set up. Um, and this is not something, how I have it set up is, I'm not saying how exactly you have to set it up, but everybody's different on what size units you want to have. Um, you know, I run the HDS Carbon 12s from Lawrence, and I, I typically have two at the console, and I have one on the bow. And really, the, 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 the deal for two at the console, you know, you, you, a lot of people see that, and they're, they're kind of skeptical of it. You know, why, why would you have two at the console? And uh, it's basically for, for structure scan. I can have one set up completely on structure scan, and that allows me, when I'm, when I'm shooting out, you know, 40 to 100 foot, I'm, I'm able to see a real clear picture of, of what I'm looking at. And, you know, a lot of times, I, it doesn't matter if I'm looking for brush or fish, you know, having that clear picture and that full screen can sometimes make a difference in finding a spot and, you know, not find a spot. But if you only have one screen, um, and I'm going to go through this through the class. Um, you know, you just have to set up your screens different. Um, you got to, uh, instead of, a, you know, maybe you're just using a structure scan for one screen, you got to mix it up and do a couple different split screens. But th that's typically how I have my boat set up on the bow. Um, you know, I have just typically one unit and I run in a chart and sonar up there and in the console, I got one for structure scan, one for uh, down scan, map, and uh, sonar. So that's, that's typically how my boat's set up. But like I said before, the, you know, the 12s aren't, aren't, aren't a necessary option. You know, they come in HDS 7s, 9s. Uh, I'm sure all y'all know that. But uh, it just helps to see a more clear picture. You know, right here, th this, this could, you know, fool a lot of people. You know, you see a ton, a ton of bait right here. Um, and it, the, the, the down scan, you can just pick out the individual fish around this. And that's critical when you're fishing and you're idling, is being able to pick out those fish. And I, I'll, I'll just throw a waypoint, just like I have right here. If I see fish, you know, in this huge ball of bait, I'll pinpoint them and I'll just throw a waypoint right on them. And typically I'll waypoint them, spin my boat around, um, get up on the front deck and start dropping on them. Right on, right on my mark. And you know, sometimes it's hard to tell like if you're on a striper lake and, the, and you see bass as well in there, it's hard to tell exactly if they're gonna be stripe or, or spots or, or small mouth. If they're suspended in them, um, so that's why I always, if I see fish in a big school of bait and they're set up on a place like this, on a high spot, um, that's when I'm going to drop my trolling motor. And th that's critical too, is, is seeing this, seeing this bait, seeing fish on a piece of structure as well. When you have a hump or, you know, a, a, a creek channel, you hear about creek channels a lot, but if it's, you know, off in the creek channel where it's real, real deep, a lot of times I won't mess with that. I want them on the high percentage stuff. I want them on the points. I want them on the humps. I want them on high percentage places, ditches as this is. This is a, uh, just a, a ditch uh, going in a pocket. And um, that's, that's the places I want to look uh, to, to find these fish in this time of year. What I look for, um, you know, there, there's a lot of things that bass will get around. I've seen them around some pretty crazy stuff and found them on some stupid stuff before. But, you know, there, there's a few key places for this is, and this is speaking for all times of the year, but this time of year, um, you know, it, all this really depends on, you know, using your units as a whole all, all this really depends on is your, your water clarity too. And, and this is something I didn't throw on here, but I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna speak about this. Water clarity is the critical factor is when you launch your boat, you, do you wanna even mess with idling offshore and looking for this deep stuff? Because when, when I launched my boat at 
we're just going to use Grand Lake since it's since it's a uh, you know it's a close lake, and I know y'all have all fished it before. But if I launch my boat and I look down in the water and it you know it's and you've probably heard this before, but if you look in the water and it's dirty, if you can't see a, a foot or you can't see you know um, you know a foot foot and a half. I want to, you, you don't even need to mess with this kind of stuff. But if you got that clear, you know, that good visibility, that's when these fish are going to be, be able to get out there deep and they're going to be on this kind of stuff. And that, that's when I want to look for this because when the water's, when that water's dirty, it's hard to trick them out there. You're, just, you're, you're probably not going to. Um, but when you got that clear water, that's why I want to look for, all these that I fix to talk about. And it, like I said. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.